Hey, physique freaks, how's it going? Scott Tuzan on MetabolicMasterpiece.com. It's Tuesday, October 14th. Getting ready to grab some breakfast here. I've got eight egg whites, one whole egg, cooked it up in a teaspoon of coconut oil, topped it off with a little bit of ketchup. I've got one third cup of oh, and sprinkled in some cinnamon there. We're looking at about 400 calories. It's 9 a.m. I've been up for about four hours so far. I've had three cups of coffee, some warm water with creatine. Gonna be hitting the gym in an hour and a half, 10.30 workout. It's my favorite time of day to train. Um, probably the time of day that we most frequently change, but I train, but I do change things up and it's based on my workout partner's work schedule. And it really got me thinking, I get asked a lot, Scott, what's the best time of day to work out? And a lot of times the, the reason people go there is because they read something like, you should be working out when your testosterone is at its highest. Um, but I mean, most of us don't have the luxury to time our workouts around our testosterone. <clears throat> and really, I don't think it matters all that much. What matters the most is what suits your lifestyle and what you can be most consistent with in your training. What time of day is it gonna fit your lifestyle? When are you gonna, when are you typically most energetic? Um, when do you feel strong? So for some people, that's first thing in the morning. First thing in the morning might be the only time they can ever fit in their training schedule because after work, their lifestyle is crazy, hectic. They might have kids, a lot of after school activities. Some people are just not morning people and they can't even think of getting out of bed in the morning and heading straight to the gym. Some people might be just heading out of the office, leaving work and going straight to the gym from work because they know if they get home, they're gonna get wrapped up in activities and stuff around the house and start to feel a little bit tired and they're not gonna make it back in the gym. Some people, it's later on at night when the kids are in bed, everything's all settled down, you get to the gym and you get a good evening workout. And some people feel a lot stronger at night and there are times when I definitely feel stronger at night. I think part of it has to do with getting in a lot of fuel throughout the day. But there's also times at night when, you know, I'm just, Tired. I don't have it in me to really put forth a good workout. So really, <laughs> I, I don't, personally, I don't believe there is a best time of day to work out, but I'd love to hear from you. What's your favorite time of day to train? When do you feel the strongest? When do you feel the most energetic? Do you work at a time when you feel your best or do you work out at a time when it's most convenient to you, like when it fits your schedule? the best. So I would love to hear it from you. Personally, I mix it up, like I said, 10.30 most of the time. Some days we train at three o'clock in the afternoon. Some days we are at eight at night. Each of the times, I mean, it doesn't make all the difference to me. I feel strong during every single workout. Uh, I don't think I'm someone who could just get up out of bed and head to the gym for a weight training session. Cardio is a different story. I can handle that, but definitely weight training. I need to be up and moving around a little bit more. Um, before I get myself to the gym and feel a little bit looser, a little bit more alert. That's enough rambling for now. I'm gonna get to my breakfast, get to the workout, get you some behind the scenes footage, but I'd love to hear from you. What time of day do you prefer to work out? When do you feel the strongest? When do you feel the most energetic? Catch up with you soon. So our day started off with a beautiful double rainbow and I was confident that I'd find some gains on the other side. Uh, I'm gonna start doing a lot more progress pics, videos, footage, just to show you where I'm at. Um, getting very ser serious about dialing things in right now, and I think the daily footage, shirt off footage, is going to be really helpful because with a shirt on, yeah, I look great. You can see the vascularity. You can see details in shoulders and arms, but I carry that last little bit, that last four to five pounds around the love handles and lower belly, as well as a bit of the lower back. So I'll be doing a little bit more of that footage just to keep me on track and accountable. So big shoulder day today, beginning with some dumbbell shoulder presses. These felt fantastic. Started off with 70 pounds, aiming for four to six repetitions. Not really trying to force anything out. Knew I wasn't gonna get another one in there, but I had a little bit of energy left, so really made sure to emphasize that eccentric contraction. Feel that stretch. All in all, felt really good today. Uh, I did take 200 milligrams of caffeine pre-workout and um, a tablet of ephedrine, which 
still legal in Canada. I don't think it is in the States. Um, but it sure keeps me laser focused during the workouts. doesn't give me any kind of jitters or anything like that. Absolutely love it. Um, Rick and I, we typically help each other out of the hole, uh, the first rep of the dumbbell shoulder presses. So it's always a little bit different, a little more challenging to get it up on our own there. Uh, when one of us is holding the camera, but this is 75 pounds and I got five reps instead of the six. All in all, felt really good. Here we are on a Mayo rep set for the cable lateral raises. So aiming for about 12 reps on the first set. Now last week, uh, this is the same week, same weight that I used last week. This was feeling really light. Uh, and last week we did 12, then 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 until I couldn't do 3 anymore. And that felt a little easy. So this week I thought I'd play around with it. Instead of bumping up the weight, um, I went 12. Actually, I think I got 13 on that first set. And then 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. And uh, until I can't do 4 reps any longer. And really quick rest periods here. And it was great, a great pump. I really love the cables because I can keep those pinky fingers in it, uh, pointed upwards and really isolate, play, place a little more tension on the lateral aspect of the delts. Little things that I really notice when I'm doing lateral raises, um, and I was really paying attention to it today, my mind-muscle connection was really, really strong. Uh, what I notice is that the very first rep, I get that weight up by kind of contracting muscles around my traps. I don't know if it's actually the traps or if it's rhomboids or um, some of the muscles that uh, make up the rotator cuff, like the infraspinatus. Um, so I'm not too sure, but I definitely feel tension in my upper back, neck area, shoulder blade area. So I'm really contracting those muscles to begin the movement. And when I feel that, I immediately think, okay, relax, relax those muscles, keep the shoulders down and reach out for the walls. So shoulders are down, reach out for the walls, and keep that tension on the lateral aspect of the delts. And I may notice that, I, I think I notice it most at the beginning, the first rep, and then the final couple reps of the set. As I'm fatiguing, um, I find that the other supporting muscles want to take over. But it just really goes to show that like a lot of us, we have natural tendencies, natural patterns, I guess, where we engage certain muscles in a certain order. So even though lateral raises are meant to hit the lateral aspect of the delts, you can really use a lot of traps uh, and other supporting muscles to get that weight up there. Um, and that's where I think a strong mind-muscle connection really comes into play, especially for us physique artists, physique athletes. Here we got Rick, 51-year-old physique athlete, carving out the details of his shoulders, the rear delts there. Freaking love it. So post-workout, grab the shake as always. Full strength shake, 300 calories. No cardio afterwards. I did get in a bit of abs and calves carried on with my day. I grabbed myself a little snack, a banana, and two tablespoons of Nutella, so just over 300 calories. All right, dinner, leftover Thanksgiving meal, some turkey, and some stuffing. Up to this point, I've been at under 1,100 calories, so I'm not sure what this is, but I'll be under. What's up? It is 20 after 8. I am just chilling, watching The Voice. I really enjoy that show. I think I I think it's the, the positive encouragement, the support, um, just, yeah, I think just the positivity of it all. It, just, it reminds me a lot of the people I surround myself with within the physique artist nation. Everyone just really rallying together. No one's trying to be better than anyone else. It's just we're all trying to pick each other up. And, uh, and I really love that. So it's it's been a great day. Uh, I've played a little bit of... Uh, PS4, NHL 2015. So I've been relaxing a little bit this evening. Uh, went out for a really nice walk with Angie and Chief. It was, well, it started off, it had just stopped raining and uh, had a little bit of clear spell there. And we started walking and then we got poured on. But it just, it was fantastic. Sure, we were soaked, but, you know, it kind of stirred up the nice autumn, the smell, the wet leaves on the ground. and 
So that was a great time. And, uh, yeah, other than that, it's been a really, really great day. And uh, since dinner, I haven't had anything. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that tomorrow morning in tomorrow's episode. Um, just, I'm not eating right now. I'm not all that hungry right now. I'm not sure where I ended up calorie-wise because I don't know how many calories was in that stuffing. There's a little bit of pecans in there. Um, and the turkey. It just had a tiny little bit of gravy in there. For sure, definite deficit. Definitely below 2,000 calories, but don't feel like eating anything else and just guessing where I'm at. I feel great. feel ready to, to get to bed pretty soon. I'm going to go watch a little bit more of The Voice. I will catch up with you tomorrow. Um, training, I'm probably going to hit some abs and all that stuff tomorrow, but just tune in for tomorrow's episode so you find out exactly what I'm up to. All the aesthetic muscle meals I'll be eating for the day. Thank you once again for supporting me, for following my journey, for allowing me to share in yours. Have an amazing day. Sculpt a masterpiece. Take care.